Hey Capricorn, it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today we're going to be doing your July 2018 general and or love forecast. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, July 2018 for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, please. Capricorn, July 2018 for Capricorn. Advice, guidance, general insight for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, July 2018. So there is a full moon, or not a full moon, I'm, yes, there's a full moon, what am I saying? The full moon in your sign tonight, Capricorn, I'm actually filming this on the day of the full moon, so lots of changes. I've done some research on this, it looks like this one's going to be used for releasing negativity or things that are negative in your life so that you can move forward. All right, so Capricorn, just a couple of things while we're shuffling, guys. I am posting extended readings for the last six months of the year on Vimeo. Uh, yours will be up in the next week or two. If you want, you can go ahead and follow me on Vimeo, which is linked down below, and you'll be notified when that does go live. Um, the second thing is that if you need a quick answer to a quick question, I am on Instant Go. Um, so you can uh, find me there for texting. You can also set up a call with me there. Just shoot me an email first so we can schedule some time. Woo! Your cards are wanting to talk, Capricorn. What's going on? All right, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, it's a nine-card spread. I do uh, three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future, okay? I also clarify, and I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you guys today as well. All right. Wow, more energy, guys. Crazy. There we go. more for your future. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, we have the Knight of Swords reversed, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius does not have to be, though. This could be a need for you guys to pull back and slow down a little bit. Things may have been pretty hectic and crazy over the last, you know, month, two months, three months, whatever. Um, but some of you guys are really needing to slow down and take some time out um, for yourselves and to focus on what's really important uh, to you guys in life right now, all right? So let's get into your recent past, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Cups. Um, this could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's really indicative of somebody making an offer of love or emotional support. This could be coming at you or going towards you, sorry coming from you or going towards you, okay? Um, either way, though, the Knight of Cups does represent love and emotions, so uh, it does look like there may be an offer uh, on the table or was an offer on the table for some of you guys. Next, you have, though, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, this could be things kind of not going in your favor, um, maybe being a little off the, you know, off the right path for a little, uh, a little bit, um, you know, some of you guys, it could have been like a little bit of bad luck too. Sometimes when we see the Wheel of Fortune here, we're feeling like something is bad luck, all right? The moon reversed. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, um, some of you. Others of you, um, it's something coming to light, okay? When the moon is upright, I tend to see it as secrets, things hidden behind the shadows of the moon. But when I... When it comes out reverse, I tend to see like more of like secrets coming into light, you finding out about something, somebody finding out something about you, okay? Um, so going into your present energy, Capricorn, we have the Eight of Pentacles working very, very hard, okay? Some of you guys love may not be going in the right direction for you, so you have decided to focus strictly on work, but with either whatever the case may be, um, you're putting a lot of hard work into something right now, trying to build a solid foundation and stability, okay? Um, in the middle of the reading, we have Six of Cups. So for some of you, this could be somebody from the past rejecting an offer from you or you rejecting an offer uh, from somebody else, okay? This can also represent boredom, but if you can see here, it's like this offer comes in and this guy's just like, nah, no thanks, I don't want it, you know? And that could be you extending an offer to somebody else and them rejecting you or vice versa, all right? Um, all right, next we have the Four of Wands reversed. So interesting energy, guys. Things may not be going super well in the home and family arena, okay? This represents happy home, happy family when it is in the upright. Reversed, it kind of says that things might be 
a little shaky there, all right? Um, some of you guys may have tried to move or buy a house or something and that didn't pan out for you. That's very possible. But a lot of the times when I see this, it comes through as like there's, there's some sort of crack in the foundation, if that makes sense, all right? We'll clarify this too. Near future Capricorn, seven of wands reversed. Good. You know, it's like whereby before you felt like you were being attacked maybe from an angry mob. This is now reversed, so that energy does lighten up a little bit. If you were kind of going after someone at the jugular as well, it's almost like you pull back on that too, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn. This can be your energy, but this is like pulling back on instability, arguments, fighting, so that you can be more stable. Queen of Pentacles can also represent an increase or abundance uh, in, in finances, all right? Um, you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like yourself. Um, but she really represents being very, very grounded, you know, very grounded, very stable, very steady. She's very kind, and um, but just very, very down to earth, if that makes sense. Okay, next we do have the Empress Reverse at the end of the month. So she can represent several different things. If you are a mother, you may be feeling overwhelmed, okay? Um, maybe with something the kids are doing or something like that. If, uh, you know, if she can represent pregnancy. So for some of you guys, it could be um, having difficulty getting pregnant, maybe loss of a pregnancy. If that is the case, I'm very sorry. Um, others of you could be dealing with your own mother who is in need of assistance in some type of way, all right? Um, the other thing she represents, though, if that doesn't apply, is the birth of something new, okay? You're trying to, like, build something, grow something, get something off the ground, and it's not quite coming to fruition yet, okay? All right, let's go ahead and clarify these cards for you, Capricorn. All right, Knight of Cups. Why is Knight of Cups in Capricorn's recent past? Knight of Cups in Capricorn's recent past, please. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. So offer and a message. So some of you guys, this could be a new job offer coming in, all right? Others of you, um, it's like you get a message that somebody wants to offer you something. It could be emotional. It could be financial. Again, we have earth signs and water signs there. So um, it's like somebody's bringing something to you. You may get, if you're waiting for a job opportunity or something like that, you may get wind that something's coming through and it makes you really happy, all right? Um, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed for Capricorn? The High Priestess reversed. It's like something took you really by surprise. There, there was something you either weren't following your intuition on or something that uh, kind of came out of nowhere, almost blindsided you, okay? Um, you had no idea something was going on and it kind of turned your world upside down, all right? Um, this could be really in any area of your life, but it's like you got this like shocking, like kind of, you know, slap, slap in the face almost, slap into reality. You were like, whoa, you know, you didn't even see it coming. Um, some of you guys are dealing with the, someone with the initials B, J, T, O, R, or A. Um, the moon reversed. Why is the moon reversed? Wheel of Fortune reversed again. Yep, something came to light here. Wheel of Fortune reversed twice, that really put a kink in your plans, guys. You may have thought things were going hunky-dory, and it was like, you know. Um, somebody may have come out of the woodwork to tell you something, or you find out news about something, and it's just like your whole world kind of stops turning, okay? Um, what you thought was going to be your destiny, something that was going to be, you know, forever, that type of thing, ended up not being that way. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Why is Eight of Pentacles in Capricorn's near, or present? Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Swords reverse. So a lot of you guys are trying to work through a sense of feeling betrayed, backstabbed, um, something like that, um, and just kind of focus on work right now. Um, some of you guys could be going through a situation at work where you do feel betrayed in some sort of way. All right. Um, others of you, the Ten of Swords can represent um, maybe a need for surgery. So if you, uh, you may have had to have surgery unexpectedly or something like that, and you're recovering from that, you're working very hard, going to physical therapy. Um, Ten of Swords also can represent back pain, neck pain, things like that. So some of you guys may be going through something like that as well. Um, four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups in Capricorn's reading? Yeah, somebody decided to free themselves. Now, this could be you, Capricorn, or somebody else, but it feels like somebody you were dealing with decided to break free from the situation. And again, this can be you. This can be a partner. Um, this could be work even, okay? Um, like 
whatever the case may be, apply it to your situation. But somebody decided to break the chains, move forward, um, to not accept some sort of offer that was extended to them. All right. Uh, let's see here. Four of Wands reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Again, it seems, you know, in the home front that we have the Knight of Cups up here, offer being extended, offer being rejected down here, okay? You may have been trying to reconcile with somebody, Capricorn, and they just flat out rejected it. Somebody may have been trying to reconcile with you, and you flat out rejected it. Whatever it is, it affects your home and family life is what it looks like down here, okay? Seven of Wands reversed, please. The Magician. Yep, so you're getting out of this energy of feeling like you're under attack, like you're having to defend yourself, fight all the time, and moving forward into an energy of manifestation. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini or Aries, um, could possibly be, but this is really kind of moving forward from conflict and manifesting what you truly, really want out of life, okay? Um, the magician has all the tools at his disposal. He's got the pentacles, the cups, the swords, the wands. Passion, communication, money, emotions, all of it, you know, it's right there. He just has to reach out and grab it, okay? And he's manifesting everything that he wants. You guys do some manifestation tonight with that moon. Looks like good things are coming in. I know I will be. I'm a Capricorn moon myself. Um, okay, Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Ace of Swords. Bam. All right. So... Not only feeling grounded and financially stable, but having a victorious new beginning. This could also be some serious communication coming in for you guys. That is that is great. It's about a new start, okay? A brand new start. So victory is abundant here, okay? You guys are going to get back on your feet. If you've been topsy-turvy, kind of turned upside down, things have not been going in your favor lately. With this magician, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, this looks like beautiful energy here, okay? The Empress reversed. Why is the Empress reversed? For Capricorn. King of Swords. Woo! All right. Um, some of you guys, again, it's air. We've got a lot of air energy today, guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But what I'm seeing here is that um, either this King of Swords could be coming into your life. It kind of like if you're a female, especially a mother, something like that, you they kind of turn you upside down in a way in the month of July, okay? Um, others of you guys with the King of Swords here, it's like you're cutting out any BS, uh, you know, out of your life, okay? Something that's making you feel reversed here. You're taking that sword and cutting that energy out completely, whether that's a person, a job, a family member, a friend, a situation, whatever it is, you're getting rid of it so that you can stand tall, communicate your needs and wants very clearly, and, and tell the universe exactly what you want and need so it can deliver it, all right? Let's pull an Oracle card for you guys. Capricorn, 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 July 2018, Capricorn. Okay, the card is differences. I'm looking at kitties. All right, number 36, let's read it. Okay, as your goddess, I have seen many things since the beginning of time. Know that the intricate differences between all beings are sacred and good. You must learn to accept that others are not the same as you. It is important to allow others to express their own opinions. Consider the difference between an orange and an apple. Both are fruit, but they are different kinds. In one more, is one more valuable than the other? I think not. All creatures, all beings have a right to their uniqueness. Try to see and hear the other person's side if you can. Okay, Capricorn? So somebody may not be agreeing with you. You may not be agreeing with somebody else. You may not like the way somebody acts or dresses or does things. But it's important to accept and embrace those differences, okay? Every single person, every situation, every human is unique. Try not to be too judgmental on others because they are different from you, okay? And then let's pull a love card for you guys, see what's going on with your love lives. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. If communication has been an issue, Capricorn, I do see that kind of rectifying itself down here, especially with this Ace and King of Swords, all right? Um, but it's time to kind of open up to your partner, but not only open up to your partner, allow your partner to honestly open up to you. 
kind of create this conversation where, you know, we're leaving emotions out of it. And you're Capricorn, you can do that, right? Um, leaving like these heated emotions out of it and opening up a clear and honest line of communication with whoever you're dealing with, whether this be a boss, a partner, it doesn't really matter. Um, because it seems like things have been so tumultuous in that situation, whatever it is to you, that you have not been able to honestly speak. You've been afraid to, or maybe the person you're dealing with has been afraid to honestly express their feelings. All right, so this is a card that's just basically stating that a, a conversation is definitely needed, a heart-to-heart, -heart, but one where nothing is hidden, one where everybody can speak their truth, that type of thing. All right, Capricorn, I hope this reading was helpful for you. If you uh, need a personal reading, please feel free to email me, trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. I'll get back to you right away. I'd love to set something up. All right, guys, thank you again for your time. Um, I wish you all a beautiful month of July. Lots of love and light to you. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.